hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is osara me if today is your first time seeing my channel thank you so much for stopping by hit on the subscribe button down below if you are yet to subscribe and turn on the notification bell as well today's video is going to be the second part of this tutorial in my last tutorial i shared with you guys how to draft the pattern for this particular dress you're seeing here um and this is what mine looked like after i was done making it so if you're interested in seeing the sewing part of this tutorial keep on watching and if you're still yet to see um the pattern drafting tutorial like i said before i'll be linking it down in the description box for you guys to go ahead and see so if you're interested in this keep on watching and let's get started so guys these are the patterns we drafted in my last video if you're here to see it it's linked in the description box so i'm going to go ahead and start by working on the bustier area where we have the ruffles here i'll leave every other part aside for now and we are going to work on the pieces that i told you guys are going to be the lining pieces first which is these two here the center front and the side front so we'll be placing the center front piece in the middle and then the two side pieces are going to be on the side like this so i'll go ahead and place them right sides facing each other and i'm just going to pin around the curved edge for the both parts i'm also going to repeat the same process for the other side and once i'm sure with that i'll go ahead and stitch these areas down on the sewing machine with about half an inch stitching allowances now for these other parts that we are going to be using for the ruffles let me go ahead and remove all the pins first so we're going to be making ruffles on this particular piece so what i will go ahead and do now is make a gather stitch at this top here and also at this bottom so i'll go ahead and do that and stitch down these sides here so guys the lining piece is stitched down as you can see i went ahead to make notches and iron my piece open here you can see what it looks like in front and now for this one i have made all the gather stitches up and down so i'm going to start pulling on one of the threads so you have to be very patient with this thread so that it doesn't break while you are um, actually doing this so i'm just going to continue pulling on it and i will use it to measure the lining piece to be sure that um, it's long enough you guys are going to see how i go about that very soon so many times that i miss you i know how to call when i want to So guys i'm done making the ruffles at the top and also at the bottom now this is the uh, lining piece that we cut out you see that i am trying to make sure that it's exactly the same measurements for the neckline area and also for the waist area here so just go ahead and extend your ruffles and arrange it properly until it's exactly the same measurement you have on your lining then you're going to go ahead and place the two of them together right sides facing each other make sure to arrange the ruffle area very properly as you do this and i'm just going ahead to pin it all the way around the neckline and once i'm through with this i'm going to stitch the neckline area and then i'll make a top stitch towards the lining so i will stitch down here and come and show you guys so this is it i've stitched it down i made the um, top stitch towards the lining and this is what it's looking like in front here so i am going to go ahead and iron this out so that it stands perfectly because right now it's just looking very weird so i am going to have to pin it down at the top here i'm going to pin it up here and also i'll pin it at the end so i'm just going to pin it around just the two pieces together so that it will be very easy for me to iron out Running around like you're single Slow down, lonely, you're the ginger the whole town Slow it sometime, go out Mountain for your bad nigga, run wild Slow it sometime Bigger issues You're running around like you're single Slow down, lonely, you're the ginger the whole town Slow it sometime so guys this is what it looks like after i was done ironing it out so we are going to be stitching the band on it right now at this end here so the band is going to lead all the way to the waistline so what i'm going to do is to place the two pieces together right sides facing each other and i'm just going to go ahead and pin this band 
all the way around the end of this posterior area. I'll go ahead and stitch down this area here and once I'm sure with that we're going to add the skirt part. Now for the skirt part what I want you to do is these are the front and the back pieces together like this. I'm just going to pin the pattern paper properly as it should be here. I'm just going to go ahead and pin it again so that I can mark the spot where my um, dart is supposed to be on the skirt. So this is where the dart is supposed to be. I am going to go over to the sewing machine now and make my darts here so i'll go ahead and stitch down this area for the dart now for the length of my dart it's going to be the same thing as what i have here which is four inches so for the length of the dart it's going to be four inches long i will do this for the front and the back pieces so this is what i have i've stitched down the dart area here i decided to add that to my pieces because of the fact that this fabric doesn't stretch okay so now we are going to be joining the front um the top of the front pattern with the skirt part like this so i want to just mark the center of the both pieces so i'll put them like this fold them into two and i'm going to mark the center of this part and i'll do the same thing for the skirt part to mark the center so that um it's actually sits perfectly on the body when we are done making this so I'll place them together right sides facing each other like this and I'm going to make a stitch at this point here with about half of an inch. So guys, this is done. You can see where I joined it here. So this is all for the front pattern for now. I am going to go ahead and leave this piece aside. Let's work on the back pieces. Now for the back pieces, I've already joined the top with the band, as you can see. So all we have to add to this piece now is the skirt part. I remember that we've already stitched down the dart areas of the skirt part as well. So now I am going to be placing them right sides facing each other, just like I did on the front patterns. But what I like to do is to reduce the center, like cut away from the center of the back a little bit before I stitch it down because um, this will help reduce bulginess at the back when we fix our zipper. So I just cut it away and I just slanted it into the side. I didn't cut away from the side actually. It's just the center, like the center. Just make sure that it's a little bit slanted towards the sides but don't cut off the side. So this is it. I'm going to go ahead and stitch down the side and I'll do the same thing for these pieces as well. So guys, I'm done making the stitch and you can see what it looks like now on the inside. So I am going to be joining the back but I'll leave some space at the top and just stitch from somewhere here down to this point because we also need to have a slit at the end. So from here now, I am going to leave this space for my zipper at the top. I'll mark this area then from here down to somewhere here, about 5 inches away. Remember, we are going to be folding this end. I'll mark again. So this other side will be the slit and the top will be the zipper. So I'll stitch just in between this part. After stitching it down, you can see what I have now. You can see here from here to here. So this is the opening for my slit. I've gone ahead to secure it with hemming gum and I'm yet to fix my zipper to the top of the back. So now this is what it looks like on the inside. You can see where my stitch started from here. So up here is the zipper area. I just went ahead to hold it with my pins for now. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and join the front and the back pieces together. I just place them right sides facing each other. And what I want you to do now is to reduce the neckline a little bit because I felt like it was too wide. So I'm just putting all the armholes together like this. And I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit away from the neckline. So I'll cut into the armhole like this. Just cut a little bit away like this. Um yeah so i opened it up and felt like maybe it's still too big so i just decided to fold it back again and just cut away from it because if this area is very wide the neckline is going to be looking very wide as well so i'm just going to cut a little bit away about one inch away from it again like this so now that i'm done cutting off the from the neckline i just want to go ahead and stitch the sides together so i'll go ahead and stitch from here all the way to the end i will have to measure this to know the exact allowances to use and stitch this down 
so guys this is what it looks like after i was done stitching it down on the side you can see it's already looking very nice and the back here all we have to do is to fix the zipper so we'll be leaving this one aside you can see all the different layers the skirts the band and the bustier we'll leave this aside now and go ahead and work on the sleeves for the sleeves i have this fabric folded into two and the length i have here is 12 inches so i'll be using about two inches to fold it at the both ends for my elastic casing so first thing i decided to do was to fold the top iron it down and go ahead and pin it in place this is where i'm going to be using for my elastic casing i did the same thing at the other end as well just go ahead and pin it in place so once this is done i am going to come in by how wide i want this armhole to be now i'm using 15 inches because we are going to be putting an elastic so it has to be very wide to an extent so now once i marked that 15 inches point remember that this fabric is in a fold I am bringing the armhole of my blouse and I placed it exactly on that 15 inches point I marked earlier and I'm pinning it down. So I will just use my scissors to just cut um, this fabric here and just trace the armhole out exactly. Now once this is done, I just decided to give my sleeve a better shape by making a little slant on the side. So now the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is remove all the pins iron it out and use this piece i already cut out to cut out a second piece for the second sleeve so now i will go over to the sewing machine and i'm going to fold this area here for my elastic to pass through i'll fold it in here and i'll be folding the other end as well so i'll do this for the both sleeves so this is what it looked like after i was done stitching this down i went ahead to cut off every excesses that i might have now i have my two elastic hair this longer one is going to be at the top and the short one is going to be on the other side the longer one is 12 inches and the shorter one is 9 inches so i'm passing the longer elastic around the top area where we have our armhole and pinning it down and i'm passing this shorter one which is 9 inches long on the area that is going to be on that for the parts that will go around my sleeve and pin it down as well so i will go over to the sewing machine now and i'm going to secure these areas here and here and also this area here and here then turn this over to the wrong side and i'm going to stitch it down here so i'll stitch it down here like this after securing all the areas i have pinned up right now so guys this is what my sleeve looks like right now after i was done stitching it down you can see where i made my stitch here so now we are going to be joining this with the um, dress so i'm going to be placing it here as you can see so i'll open the armhole area of the sleeve and the armhole area of the dress put them together right sides facing each other like this and i'm going to go ahead and pin it down if you've done this correctly they will be exactly the same length so i'll stitch down this area here inside and i'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other sleeve i'll go ahead and stitch it here as well so after i was done stitching down the sleeve this is what my dress looks like and i've also gone ahead to fix this zipper to the back this is the slit area and that's basically all for the making of this dress so thank you so much for watching i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye